Thank you, Toastmaster Alethea, fellow Toastmasters and guests, for holding this space with me. In 2009, Congress designated October as Filipino American History Month because it was on October 18, 1587, that the first Filipinos set foot on U.S. soil. That was 435 years ago. And that was a really long time ago. How do I, as a first generation Filipina American, arriving here only as far back as 1982, fit into this long history? How do I, descendant and heir of this history, celebrate? Especially when I recall days, I didn't especially feel proud as I was not always capable of watering my Filipino roots, what with my heart too broken at times by both internal and external hate, racism, and prejudice. I remember a time when being an outcast of whiteness made me lament that I was others. I remember a time when the poverty I knew of being Filipina limited my world. It was a short window of time, but a window nonetheless. It was the first week of my first semester of college. I was at the computer lab. All around me were white people. It was my first time I was around or interacted with them. They were twacking away at the keyboards, moving their mouths effortlessly, printing papers, and finishing their assignments while I sat there not knowing how to turn on the computer. I never felt so other in my life, not even compared to the time I was called chink or gook. I am ashamed to admit at that moment, I hated being born to my Filipino parents. I unfairly blamed them for my discomfort, my ignorance, my otherness. Why did we come to the US, I thought, where my high school was too poor to have computers? I was bitter and angry. Luckily for me, I found my way to an Asian American studies class called Filipino American Experience. Eventually, I got my sorely needed history lesson and was able to place my family's experience in the larger context of history. Here I am today in the United States with this past April marking my 40 years living here. My identity wrapped tightly in the source of my joy, the core of my truth that I, I'm a Filipina American, a Pinay, which is a term defined by one dictionary as a woman of Filipina heritage living abroad. It is a counterpart to Pinoy, which usage can first be traced to a 1926 U.S. student bulletin where the Filipinos here wanted to distinguish themselves from the Filipinos back home. Yesterday, I was in court representing a client to help her rebuild her peace after premeditated hate. I was the fourth attorney for my client as opposing counsel had been successful in defeating former attorneys. The judge called our case and I see opposing counsel for the first time I'm taken aback, I regard her and think, well, is she Pinay? I had a good sense she was. When our case was interrupted because the judge had to speak to his clerk, I whispered toward her, are you part Filipina? She's like, huh? I repeat, are you part Filipina? <laughs> she broke into a wide smile, her cheating patterned four inch stiletto wearing feet jumped towards me and said, Miss ever get that? How did she go? I say, I am too. She said, no way. Immediately, 
both of us instinctively jumped towards each other and hugged tightly right there in the middle. For me, it was because I knew I was seeing a rare bird as we both were part of the grim statistic that of all licensed U.S. attorneys, only 3.4% are of Asian Pacific descent. By the way, the court reporter, the person who transcribes the proceeding, sitting just two feet away, looked at me, smiled and mouthed, me too, deny. Oh my God, I mouthed back. The judge then <laughs> coughed us all back into attention and we had to get serious again. <laughs> but when I left the courtroom, I was feeling a deep sense of connection, pride and belonging. There I was living and making my Filipino American history. When a people has been outcast and marginalized, when we see and feel belonging and connection, it is a special moment indeed. Because it is true, only after seeing darkness can we really appreciate the light. Here we are at the top of the month. Tell me, are you going to celebrate Filipino American History Month? Because to be able to say, yes, I will celebrate, means we have discarded enough internalized racism that's been shoved down our throat. We have sufficiently watered our Filipino roots and healed our hearts of the shame, blame, and disrespect. To celebrate means we have found our pride, belonging, joy, our truth. To celebrate Filipino American history this month and every month. Thank you. Wow.